Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I am going to show you how to implement uh, Material 3 uh, date and time pickers in your application using a Jetpack Compose. So let me show you how those uh, pickers actually look like. So here we have a date picker. As you can see it looks uh, very nice. We can select here either a single or a multiple different uh, dates. We can choose uh, a month, we can choose a year, so it's up to us. And here we have of course a time picker as well, so it, it looks uh, also quite beautiful. It is adapted to uh, support Material 3 design system, so it also supports uh, both the light and the dark theme. So let me show you how will that actually look like on a dark theme as well. There we go. So it's uh, quite beautiful. And uh, without uh, further ado, uh, let's get started and let me show you how you can uh, implement those uh, pickers in your application. Okay, uh, so here I'm going to show you the actual library that uh, we're going to use uh, for that purpose. Uh, that library is called the Sheets Compose Dialogs uh, by uh, Max uh, Kepler. So this is one of the uh, best library I have found uh, so far. As you can see, this is not just a date and time picker uh, library. Uh, this is a, a dialogue library that uh, offers a couple of different styles uh, and types of uh, dialogues uh, for your projects. So this is the third party library and this is not the official uh, source uh, for uh, date and time pickers for Jetpack Compose. I'm sure that the uh, Android team will release the uh, official uh, composable functions for this purpose, but until then uh, we can use this um, this library without a problem. So I have already tested and uh, everything works uh, perfectly fine. Those uh, pickers uh, support uh, both the dark and the light theme as you have seen. And also it looks uh, quite beautiful. So if you scroll down below you're going to find here a, a link to the documentation of this library. And you're going to find also here a setup uh, section where you can see what kind of a dependency you need for, for this library. Uh, the first dependency is a core uh, uh, dependency. And after that you can implement uh, either one of those uh, modules, uh, separate modules, for uh, each and every dialogue that uh, this uh, library actually supports. In this case I have chosen a calendar and um, a clock uh, dialogue for uh, this uh, demonstration purposes. Now let's open up our Android Studio project. As you can see here, I have added that uh, Material uh, 3 uh, calendar and the uh, clock uh, modules, but also this uh, core as well. Now, uh, this is my actual screen, so I have only two buttons, a date picker and time picker. So first, let's start uh, implementing the actual uh, date picker, right? Or a calendar picker. So the first uh, thing which I want to do here, I want to create a calendar a state and I'm going to call here, remember, a sheet state. So this uh, sheet state will be used to actually trigger our uh, dialogue. And then below that I can just uh, call this uh, uh, calendar dialog composable function. So here we can pass our calendar state. And as a selection, uh, we can call a calendar uh, selection. Dot, uh, so here we have uh, two different options. We have a date and a dates. So of course this first one will return just a single date and it will allow us to select only a single date inside our calendar. And this uh, second one will allow us to select uh, multiple different uh, dates in our uh, date picker. So in this case I'm going to choose this uh, single one, so only a date. There you go. And we also have uh, here this uh, warning saying that we need to add uh, Experimental 3 uh, Material 3 API. Let's just move those arguments on a separate line. There we go. And here we can just write a date. And we can log a simple message. Selected a date. And there we go. Now let's uh, run uh, this application so we can see uh, how will this actually work. Let me just here also actually um, call this uh, calendar state to actually trigger uh, this uh, date picker. So a calendar state dot show. This state also has a couple of different properties and functions to show up as well. So we have a show function, hide, invoke a reset. It will basically reset the current state data. Uh, we also have some um, properties like on dismiss request, on finished requests, visible, reset, finish and so on and so on. Let's just call here a show function to open up our actual uh, calendar dialog for now. So let's just uh, open that up. There we go. And this is how it looks like. So it's uh, quite beautiful and uh, of course uh, it is designed to support Material 3 design system. Here we also have uh, an option to select the actual uh, uh, month and the actual year. However, uh, in order to enable those uh, selections we need to add here one more parameter to set up the configuration of this uh, calendar uh, dialog. Anyhow, here as you can see for now we can select only one uh, date in this uh, calendar, but if we specify here um, dates instead of a date, uh, then we will be able to select multiple different uh, dates as well. Now let's uh, here configure uh, this uh, calendar dialog, so specify the config parameter. 
and here call just a calendar config, right? So this uh, calendar config accepts uh, multiple different parameters. Uh, for now, I'm going to specify here a month selection equal to true so that we can actually uh, select the month by ourselves and the year selection to true. Now, after we now launch our application, then we should be able to select uh, by ourselves the month and the, uh, the year of this uh, uh, calendar picker, right? So now we have this uh, arrow and from there we can select uh, each and every month that we want. Also about the year, so as you can see we can select each and every year we actually uh, need. And there we go, so it works uh, like a charm. Here we also have a couple of different uh, customization options, like uh, the style of this um, uh, calendar dialog. So we can call uh, calendar uh, style dot a week or a dot month. So uh, the month is the default style of this uh, calendar. However, if I here specify a week, uh, then let's see how our uh, uh, calendar will look like now. Let's open it up and there we go. So now we have a different kind of a style for our calendar. So this is a week uh, style. And uh, also one important thing here to note is that uh, we can specify uh, what kind of uh, dates or uh, days actually we want to disable uh, in this uh, calendar. Let me just um, add here one more parameter and that will be a uh, disabled, disabled dates. And here we can just specify a list of uh, dates that we want to disable, right? So for example, here I can specify a list of and I can specify maybe a local uh, date dot now. Uh, plus uh, seven, for example. So uh, I'm going to disable here uh, a day, which will be uh, seven days after the current day. So let's run this example so I can show you. Open that up. And now, as you can see, uh, the current date is actually uh, the 4th uh, January 2023. And uh, a disabled date uh, will be uh, a January 11th. As you can see now, I cannot select that date because that date is uh, not selectable anymore. It is disabled. We can only select other different uh, dates that uh, are actually not disabled. So that's uh, pretty much it about this um, uh, calendar uh, dialog. So it is uh, quite easy to implement that in your uh, project. Now let me show you how to implement uh, this uh, time picker or a uh, clock picker. So let's here create one more variable uh, named uh, clock uh, state. Let's here also call that the uh, same a remember sheet state uh, composable function and down below let's call a uh, clock uh, dialog let's pass the clock uh, state here first for the selection let's uh, call here um, clock uh, selection dot uh, hours minutes or we also have hours minutes and seconds in this case I only need uh, hours and minutes so let's here uh, write our lambda so uh, hours and minutes there we go let's move those arguments on a separate line we can also log here uh, the actual uh, date uh, or uh, hours and minutes. So we can just write hours um, colon minutes. And of course, let's uh, call this uh, clock state and show that uh, uh, dialog whenever we click our second uh, time picker button. So clock state dot show. Let's now uh, run this uh, example so we can check that out. And let's uh, choose uh, the time picker now. Okay. So uh, as you can see, this is how this uh, clock or a time picker uh, will look like. So here we have to choose uh, the actual uh, hour and then minutes. So we can here type, for example, 0, uh, 6, then uh, maybe uh, 1, 2. We can choose here AM or a PM, so it's up to you. There is also a 24-hour uh, format as well. So let's, for example, here select this, uh, uh, this uh, time. So if I press OK, then that time should be uh, now inside our um, uh, log head. So let's open it up. As you can see, um, this is the actual format that, that uh, I'm seeing at the moment. But you can specify that uh, explicitly. So let's just uh, open this uh, clock dialog. Let's call here a config parameter and specify a uh, clock config. And let's specify now its parameters. So let's here call is 24 hour format a uh, false. And let's now uh, run this example. Okay, so now as you can see, I can select for example 0, 06 again, 1, 2, click OK. And now we are seeing uh, a 6 and not uh, 18, okay? And, he, and here, if I set for example a true explicitly, uh, then we are going to see that uh, 24 hour uh, format instead, and our uh, uh, time picker here or a clock picker will not have those uh, AM or a PM options as well. And there you go. So that's basically how you can uh, easily implement uh, a date and time picker in your application. So those are only two different um, pickers or dialogues that you can use from this library. There are also uh, more different options that you can uh, implement within your project. And you can check them all uh, on this actual uh, 
github repository i'll be sure to leave the link down in the video description so no worries there and uh, basically that will be all so uh comment down below and let me know what you think about this um, uh, useful library for material 3 uh pickers or dialogues and of course don't forget to like this video but only if you find it helpful for this video that will be all